Salute, General, Iro, Musa, Etiquette. I'm affectionately referred to as General Etiquette, and I've been thinking. I've been thinking about a variety of subject matter, but today specifically, I've been thinking about budgets. Now, interestingly enough, when we think about budgets, they're normally associated with something financial, right? Trying to get our finances in in order. And I absolutely suggest that. But what I'm talking about is an energy budget. So I was having a conversation recently and the term just kind of came out. But then as we both attempted to unpack it, we was like, well, what does it really mean to have a budget for your energy? Well, like everything else, it's really just about really sitting down and deciding how exactly you're going to expend energy, right? What things are you going to funnel energy into? What things are you going to focus on? What things are you going to cut back on, right? It's no different than a budget when considering your finances. What is your energy budget? What is your energy budget for work? What is your energy budget for relationships? Excuse me, right? Are we budgeting everything in our lives? Right. And is it possible? Right. So I'm talking about it for me. I think it's something that's viable. And while it sort of just came out in conversation, I think if we all nuance it as individuals to ourselves. Right. We can really start to ask ourselves, well, what does it look like when we take ownership over our time, our energy and our currency as it pertains to that? Right. And distribute it as we see fit, but also in an attempt to keep ourselves healthy. One thing that we've been discussing at length, sort of as a greater human society, has been mental health. Right. So in the past, we understand we've had these ideas of work, work, work. Right. Or varying ideologies as it pertains to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. But at this juncture in 2022, What's abundantly clear to us is that similarly to eating healthy, right, it's a known fact that taking care of your mental health will make for a longer lasting, right, potentially, but at least a more peaceful existence, right, a happier existence, one where your mental health is at the forefront of your mind, right, and taking care of yourself. So when we think about a lot of these terms, like an energy budget, what's your energy budget? How have you been spending your energy? And when you sit down and think about it, what sort of changes do you need to make personally, right, to get to a better space? What things do you add? You need to add more energy into what things do you need to pull back a little bit of energy from? Right. All of these are things that could probably only serve to help us, in my humble opinion. But please let me know what you think about this concept and this notion of the energy budget. Like I said, it's revolutionary in practice, not so much in theory. Right. I'm not going to profess to having coined a phrase that is sort of life altering. But this idea of if we can take incremental steps and incorporate things that we know will serve us better, then we are actually making progress and it's profound in that respect, if applicable, if made applicable, right? So let's try to remember a few of those things, but I just wanted to run that by y'all. Hear y'all thoughts, please like, comment, share, subscribe, right? Leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the topic and or just join the conversation and leave your thoughts. Um, Thank you for the time it took to deliver this message. Much love. Y'all have a blessed week and make sure you're spending your energy wisely. Much love. Oh, yeah. And don't forget. Salute. General. Iro. Musa. Etiquette.